Go ahead. So hi everyone, my name is Theo. I want to thank uh, Sages for the opportunity to present today. So yes, so our presentation is uh, that we believe that delayed uh, cholestectomy after ERCP um, is just running after a recurrent bowel event. So we don't have any conflict of interest to disclose. So we know that in the literature guidelines recommend that uh, cholestectomy should be carried out early after coming by blood clearance but from time ranging between 24 hours to uh, four weeks. We thought that was a big time frame, so we wanted to know when exactly was the best time for cholestectomy after ERCP in patients with uh, gallstone disease, so that, that was our primary outcome. We also wanted to know um, if there were any factors associated with this primary outcome. So we conducted a 12-year uh, retrospective study of 529 patients uh, who underwent cholestectomy after ERCP at Chalamon Hospital on the south shore of Montreal. Uh, so patients that were younger than 18 years old who had ERCP for reasons other than gallstone disease, severe pancreatitis or cholestectomy uh, carried out before uh, ERCP were excluded of the study. So here are the results that we gathered. Um, first, I'm gonna say that RBE stands for a recurrent bilirubin event. So we uh, had a total of 28.5% of uh, RBE uh, which seems coherent with what we see in the literature between 17 and 60 percent. Um, we can also see the first uh, uh, blue rectangle. There was no uh, significant difference between gender or age or comorbidity. And the first, uh, the second blue uh, rectangle, which is index cholestectomy, we can see that there were no uh, RBE for patients who had their surgery on the, f on the same admission uh, after ERCP. And the last blue uh, rectangle, which is a delay between clearance and surgery, we can see that uh, patients with RBE uh, had a significantly longer delay uh, before surgery compared to patients with no RBE. So uh, RBE, uh, we can see here that caused a significant uh, increase in the total length of hospital stays, uh, particularly due to uh, a prolonged uh, post-operative stay. And uh, we can see that uh, RBE also, uh, patients with RBE had a significant increase in the duration of surgery and conversion to open surgery. Um, compared to patients with no RBE, uh, which uh, reflects potentially harder uh, surgeries. So here the first chart is the actual occurrence uh, of all types of RBE after clearance of the common bile duct with ERCP uh, over 1,000 days. Uh, here um, the occurrence of RBE starts on the red line at about 2.5% at um, 7 days, increases steadily at 2.9% uh, per, uh, patient, per 100 patients per month, to reach 53% out of one year. And um, it means that patients are exposed at a steady risk of RBE uh, while awaiting cholestectomy. And we can see the same type of progression for common bile duct stone recurrence and cholecystitis. Um, the second uh, chart is the percentage uh, that compares the RBE per week after a clearance by ERCP uh, compared to the number of residual cases uh, waiting for surgery. So here each uh, black dot represents the incidence of RBE uh, for each week. And um, we can see that despite a progressive uh, decrease in the number of residual cases or patients waiting for surgery, uh, we can see there's still a high incidence of RBE over time in non-operated patients. We can also point out uh, that, um, oh, sorry. Here, that uh, even at the beginning, uh, in the first few, uh, few weeks, there's a still a, a, a high incidence of uh, RBE between 3 and 6%. So in conclusion, uh, RBE occurred in 28.5% of patients in our study. There were no RBE if patients uh, were, had a cholestectomy uh, at the same admission after ERCP. Uh, actual occurrence of RBE starts early at about 2.5% at seven uh, days and increases steadily to reach 53% at one year. There was no significant uh, association with comorbidity or age, and uh, we saw there were significantly harder surgeries and longer hospital stays with patients with RBE. Uh, thus, uh, we recommend that cholestectomy should be carried out faster than the recommended four weeks after uh, ERCP and that comorbidity in age should not be a reason to delay cholestectomy. Ideally, it should be done at the same admission or within one week uh, if the patient is uh, fit for surgery. Otherwise, uh, we're just running at the recurrent bilirubin event. Thank you.